There are a few times in life when you find something so good and so perfect that it would be criminal not to share it. Number one, God loves you and he has a wonderful plan for your life. And if you ever want to know anything about that, message us in the comments below. Number two, I know how to make a really good chicken thigh and I want to share it with you. Just watch the video. It's going to be great. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for watching Cooking with the Robinsons and we're showing you something today that will take your chicken thighs to the next level. So what I'm going to start off by showing you is these chicken thighs and kind of how I would trim them. I don't like that much excess fat or that chicken skin on my chicken thighs. So I, I do take this side off, just make it a little bit healthier, get rid of a little bit of that skin. You're still going to want to keep that skin on the top side. We're just going to trim around the edges here. We'll get rid of a little bit of this jelly fat on this side and just kind of get it nice and clean. And that's basically it. We'll see kind of what it looks like on this side. And what we're going to do is I'll finish trimming these chicken thighs up like they are here. And then I'm going to take this avocado oil, put it on this chicken. And we have McCormick's roasted garlic and herb. Now this is a go-to. The reason I'm using them today is because you can get this at any grocery store and it is really good. It's gonna be good with what I'm gonna show you after I get this all marinated is what's gonna take your chicken thighs to the next level. So today before I seasoned the chicken, I took these wood chips that are taken from a old wine barrel and you can see the wine stains on the inside there. And what I wanted to do is soak these in a good wine. Now, if you can't find these in a store near you, I'll put a link in the description below where you can find them. Now, once you've got this submerged in a good wine, you're gonna put something heavy to keep the wood chips down, getting fully soaked for the next 30 minutes to an hour and get it ready for our grill. Now just before you're ready to put the chicken on the grill, take that handful of wood chips, place them in the center of two sheets of aluminum foil. I used heavy duty and folded it back over, keeping that thing real tight and sealed in and flipped it over. And I used the paring knife to poke holes in the top of the aluminum foil. So then what's gonna happen is when you put that in the grill, those wood chips are gonna heat up smoke's gonna start billowing out of those holes and it's gonna create this great aroma and flavor on your chicken like you've never experienced before. Now take your foil pack, put it right on top of the coals or right on top of the fire in your grill. Wait for that smoke to start coming up and then you'll wanna put your chicken on the grill. Now as you can see, I like to put my charcoal in the center, leaving the outsides open so that I avoid flare-ups. I put my chicken skin side down for 20 minutes. Then I'll come back, remove the lid, flip the chicken for another 20 minutes. Now, if you're using a regular gas grill, don't worry, you can have this same effect on your grill simply by turning off a center burner, placing your chicken where it's not over a direct flame. And you'll also wanna take that foil pack, put it directly onto the burner below the grate. Now, I'll be totally honest with you, you don't have to have that foil pack of oak chips to make this chicken superb. It's gonna be great if you do it this way every time. I like to check the skin, make sure it's crispy. If it's not, I'll flip it over for a few seconds on those hot coals just to get it crisped up. I think in this case, we're ready to go.
Okay, I am so ready to try this chicken. Are I you ready? Too. Absolutely. We got Ayla, our seven year old, on camera. Mm -hmm. We got Kari, our four year old, running the lights. Yes. I mean, it's a show ready it's to a be show. had. It's a show. Let's taste this chicken, <laughs> would we? Should Let's we? Do it. Absolutely. Will you? Shall you? We shall. Look at this. It's almost a burgundy color. And I think that's from the wine that Kari's ready to eat. I think that's from the wine that's it's, soaked in those wood chips. What else could it be? It is next level. Like the. What, what do they say? The flavor profile? Mm. <laughs> you got a juice running out of that. It is rich. It is, this is flavor. I'm just saying, <laughs> when you want to oh, share oh. With something with somebody so bad, mm -hmm. it's because that's so good. It can't be I'm a just telling you, <laughs> if you can do this, if you can get some wood chips, soak them in wine. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't care if you don't buy them from our store, just get some and make this happen mm -hmm. because it's delicious. Delicious. It's next level, it's amazing, and thanks for watching, guys. If you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified every time we come out with a new video. Thank you, we'll see ya. See ya, bye.